Freedom smells like fresh grass and firecrackers. Tastes like potato salad carrying in picnic baskets. Heavy thought, but no takers. We are the caregivers of the movement, the feet of the revolution, the voice of the angered souls. We are the microphone of pain, the stage of vulnerable values. We are the faces of those that are never seen, the breath that he couldn't get, the mercy they never felt, they are the heart of the streets, the sons that are gone, the souls that still search the missing instruments, the urban beats, the real life heroes with handcuffs of enslaved thoughts, with choked injustices. I can't breathe. 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 Breathe. I can't breathe. Rest easy in the movement, those that are still choking. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Erica Roberts, also known as Velvet Poetry. I'm a local poet and activist in our city. And today I wanted to come to you in a different way, not necessarily a workshop, but more of a prompting moment a moment to think about the things that are around us. So little ones grab your moms or your dads or your parents and you come in and sit for a moment and think on the one word, freedom. What is that? What does that look like? And how we will talk about it is through the amazing artistic language of poetry. What is poetry? Poetry is a rhythmic way of expressing thoughts on paper, in words, even in movement, it can be considered poetic. But today we wanna to talk specifically on freedom and how that moves us. What does freedom look like? What does it smell like? What does it feel like? Is it something that's tangible? Have you felt freedom? Is it you being able to play with your friends when you want to? And looking at the prompts here at the table are giving you ideas of where to go and how to flow. Lemon, for instance, it's beautiful, it's yellow. Is freedom deceptive in the way that it's pretty on the outside and on the inside it's bitter? Or is it just what we make it? Is it at this point in life, at this time, that we're men is masked? Is that freedom? What does that feel like? What does it look like? And you take the moment and you use your paper and you write. If you are a painter or a drawer, you like to play with crayons, Draw what freedom looks like to you and feel free to share it with family. Share it with the museum here. Is freedom me being here in an empty museum where you play and me be able to play with you remotely? Is that freedom? Is it freedom being able to come and smell flowers or wear gloves in a, in a crazy moment? What is freedom to you? As we celebrate freedom in this time, we also have to think about those that may not have freedom. They may see it differently, they may feel it differently. But for us at this moment in this world, what does it look like? To me, freedom is jazz music. Freedom is love. Freedom is being able to walk where I want to. Freedom is eating ice cream in the morning for breakfast. Freedom means a lot, but at the same time, it's all of these things plus thousands and thousands of things that are much more. I encourage you to take a moment, look at these items, and write on what freedom is to you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to sit with me, to grab your pen and paper and to write. I hope that you take this moment to reflect on what freedom is and what it means to you and your family and then you pay attention to those that may not have freedom extended to them. Keep your pens lit and write on y'all.